The kick's power comes from the torque generated by the rotation of the hips. It's the same principle that cracks a whip. Turning the hips just a few degrees forces the foot to travel a much greater distance and creates a lot of speed as it does. The longer the leg and quicker the rotation, the faster the kick. And unlike karate, Muay Thai fighters are also taught to strike with the hard bone of the shin. A Muay Thai kick can generate roughly the same force as a baseball bat, enough to crack a rib or a leg. Basically, it works like a point of a knife. All the force is magnified by being concentrated in a small, hard area. Even if the elbow doesn't deliver a knockout, it will almost always leave a nasty cut and often end a fight. It's not the arms, but the legs that drive our fists. Like a piston, the explosive power of the legs is capable of generating hundreds of pounds of force, all to a very vulnerable area, the soft underside of the opponent's jaw. Like the Hanuman move, the flying knee relies on the explosive power of the legs. But rather than spread the power of our blow over two fists, it concentrates it into the spear point of the knee and combines it with the force of gravity. It's the equivalent of hitting our opponent in the chest with a sledgehammer. The hyperextension of the elbow, created by pulling back on the locked arm, virtually ensures that he will be taken down. The knee strike to the wrist dislodges the knife and further loads the elbow and shoulder. The technique can easily result in damage to the elbow joint, the tendons of the rotator cuff, or even a broken arm. The key to this move is turning your opponent's lower arm into a lever. By grabbing his arm during the initial attack, you set up the lever such that direct loading to his elbow joint is achieved. Once the elbow is locked and loaded, you can pull a much heavier opponent off balance by simply lowering your center of weight. With practice, the ninja can hit his intended target from distances as great as 45 feet. At impact, that's more powerful than a major league baseball pitch. This move is more about timing and precision than power. Instead of hacking through the limb, the first strike imparts an injury just a few inches below the elbow. The sword's razor-sharp blade easily slices through the soft tissue of the attacker's arm. This opens up his defense and provides the ninja a clean opportunity to deliver the kill stroke, a powerful shot to the top of his head. The move works by using your opponent's own body weight against him. The first strike can land at speeds greater than 20 miles per hour and can stun your opponent with the same injury producing energy as dropping a bowling ball from over 11 feet onto his torso. By using his arm as a lever in conjunction with the leg sweep, you drive your opponent to the ground. Once he is on the ground, you follow up with a devastating strike to his face. The secret to the move is wrist control. By rotating your opponent's wrist to the maximum extent of its range of motion, the bones of the wrist lock against the bones of the forearm and make it impossible to bring the strong muscles of the upper arm to bear. Then, you can pull your opponent off balance and into a potent knee strike. The combined force of the knee strike and your opponent's forward momentum can be as much as 2,000 pounds, enough to dent sheet metal. The effectiveness of the Pola Kaimau lies not in raw power, but in speed. By relying on your triceps to snap the strikes forward over the elbow, three blows can hit in seven-tenths of a second. The final impact of the strike to your opponent's face can deliver as much as 175 watts of power, more than enough power to stun him or crush the cartilage of his nose. You then add insult to injury, firing one last shot into one of the most sensitive regions of the body, the groin. Pulling off the move relies on two factors. The first is to combine the block and the strike into a single action. This reduces the time your opponent has to respond to just tenths of a second. But the real focus is to aim your strike at the throat. Because as little as 76 pounds of force can collapse the larynx, the strike doesn't need to deliver a lot of force to be deadly. One blow like this and the fight is over. <laughs>